to this game. I mean, I mean, that's that's a strong team, but I mean, we're gonna be ready for them without a doubt. I mean, I feel like we have the best defense, but we're gonna see right now in this game just come Saturday. What what did those guys do last year that they gave y'all trouble? Running? We just didn't execute. Yeah, that's all it was. I mean, if you watch the game, we just didn't execute the things that we knew we could do. We were kind of getting away from that, but I mean. Who knows these plays are going to be called this weekend? We got to make it and make them stick. That's the biggest thing. Yeah. The the play when you do like the jet sweep and you get the little toss pass from Sean, what do y'all call that? What do we call that? Yeah, because when, when we say it, I mean, exactly what we you think said. jet sweep, that's what it is. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, because, and, and the reason I'm asking, because when you get the toss, like there's debate whether it's a pass or a run. And, if it leaves his, it's not a handoff. He's right. passing it for it. That's a pass. So you're you're all for it being a pass, not a run. Yeah, I mean, that really don't matter either way. I mean, yeah. it's great yardage for our team. Yeah. So I mean, it's whatever. Coach Elliott talks about we want to be balanced. We want to be explosive through the air. We want to be explosive on the ground. Saturday was that more a glimpse of what this offense can be like rather than those first four games? Oh, definitely. I mean, we ain't, we ain't in a rush to do anything. I mean, we're going to take what the defense gives us. If that's what they're going to take, we're just going to take what they give us each and every game. So if it's if it's more running, if it's more passing, it's what it's going to be. I mean, there's no big deal. We're just going to go out there. We just want to win at the end of the day. What did the players think about Dabo's Clemsoning rant after oh, the that game? Was, I, was, I think that's the best thing he's done. I mean, people always, I mean, they disrespect us each each week thinking we're this and that. I think that was great. I watched it like five times already. I like the way that he went out there. And he told them how he felt. I mean, and I mean, I, I don't feel like what people say about us is true. I mean, they're, they're dwelling on the past. I mean, this is the future. I mean, we're going to take care of our business and do what we have to do. And I'm glad he did that. Do you feel disrespected? I mean, you've never lost to an unranked team. Not since you've been here. Most yeah, of these guys have. Disrespected from it, just because they're still going on the pass. I mean, and plus we're here, we're on the team, so I mean, kind of disrespect to us, just because they're talking about our team, thinking we can't do this, can't do that. Now, I mean, it's just it's whatever. Well, we take it as motivation. I know I do, but it's just it's just fun. I mean, we look at it, and laugh at it, but it is disrespectful to us. Is it? Good to play for a coach that you know he's got your back like that. Oh, definitely. I I love. It. I texted him last night and told him like, I, it just gets me hyped the way he just be with us and just he has our back through everything. So it's just great to just know that from a coaching standpoint. Is there any way you can help him with the dancing part of coaching though? <laughs> to be honest, I mean, I, he, he does what he does, man. He, even with the dance, I mean, you don't see coaches do that. I mean, I, you go in their locker rooms, they're happy, blah, 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 but you don't see your coach go out there and dance with their team like that. I think it's just special. No team, I don't think no team can have it like us. Talk about that, uh, the hit you took down by the goal line. What exactly happened there? Is that just a stinger? Or yeah, he just, not, I, I just got knocked the wind out of me. I mean, I haven't been hit like that in a while. So it, it's just, he's not the wind out of me. That's about it. I mean, that's the reason I didn't get it in, so. You were up close. Yeah, I know. You've, you've actually broken some tackles the past couple of games. That, that particular play uh, against Notre Dame, you broke a couple. Is that part of your game? You, you think people don't realize how strong you are and yeah. how physical you can be? Of course. I mean, you, you can look at me and be like, oh, he's 5'10". I mean, I don't think he can take those type of hits yet, blah, blah, blah. I mean, I know who I am. I know who I, as a person who I am. I'm just determined. And I don't feel like if you're going to take me down one-on-one, I mean, it's not going to be easy. That's how I look at it. So I try to do as much as I can on offseason just to work for those moments like that. Saturday, how nice is it to kind of be able to open up the offense again after a couple games? One in a hurricane, you know, and another one just on Thursday night. It was kind of more of a cage again. How nice is it to be able to open it up again? I mean, uh, it's nice. I mean, it's, I mean, we don't really look at it like how you guys look at it. We just look at it. We just won. I mean, as long as we win the game, it don't really matter what we do. As long as we come out with the win. Is this team just, do you think, just scratching the surface of how good you can be offensively? Oh, uh, yeah. Once we put everything together and we play the way we know we can play and capable of, it's going to be scary. Have you been able to help Dion and Ray Ray? You were in their position last year. What do you see out of those guys, and have you been able to help them? Oh, of course. I try helping with everything that I possibly can. I mean, come from the routes and from the break points, releases, everything, just because I see the potential in those guys. I mean, and once they get it down, 
as a rap is gonna be, it's, like I said, it's gonna be scary. What do you, wait, give me a scouting report on DM. What kind of player is he? Can you tell me what type of player he is? I mean, he, he just, He's just getting he's just getting his feet wet right now. I mean, he's gonna be he's a obviously he's an explosive player as you see. He's making plays that we know he can make. But I mean, as he pits it together, he's gonna be a ridiculous player as well as Ray Ray and Travion. I think Travion's gonna. I mean, most people don't talk about him, but Travion's gonna be a great player. And I, I can't wait to see what he does in these next few years. I'm sure you already asked this, but your thoughts on Coach Sweeney the other night and what he did at the podium? Uh, it was great. I mean, people needed to hear that, and I think that him standing up for us was a real good thing. Just knowing that our coach got our back, and it was great to just watch him go out, go back at them. Did, does that fire you up at all as you get ready to play this game this week? Oh, definitely. I was hyped about it every time I watched it, and I texted him last night and told him how happy it was about it. It was great to just see it. You think this will kind of shut some people up around the, around no. the country? No, not at all. I mean, that's going to make them come even more. I mean, they like you said, People want, it's like they want to see us lose. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why, I mean, we didn't do anything, we just did things the right way. And I think, I don't think people like that. So, I mean, it's whatever, take it, take it one step at a time.